Hi there and welcome to Mr. Arnold's Maths. In this video we're going to look at how to draw a pie chart. So, we have a frequency table here displaying data on the favourite colour of a number of people. And before we start to draw our pie chart, first thing we've got to work out is how many people there were in total, because I'm going to need the total frequency. So, we get that by adding up all the frequencies. So, 6 and 10 is tw uh, 16. And 4 is 20, 25, 33, and 7 is 40. So there was 40 people asked in total. And when we're finished, our whole pie chart, or the total amount, should come to a total of 360 degrees. Why is that? Well, because there's 360 degrees in a circle. So we got to work out how big will each slice of the pie be for each colour. And in order to do that, we need to use this little formula down here. So you're going to do the frequency divided by the total frequency and multiply that by 360 degrees. And that will tell us how big the angle should be for each slice. So let's do the first one. To work out how big uh, the blue slice will be, it's going to be 6 divided by 40. And then, so that's our frequency divided by total frequency. And then multiply our answer by 360 degrees and we get 54. So 54 degrees of our pie chart will be dedicated to blue. Next one, we're going to do yellow. So it will be 10 divided by 40 and multiply our answer by 360 degrees, which gives us 90. So yellow is going to take up 90 degrees of our whole pie chart. Green will be 4 divided by 40 and multiply that by 360 which gives us 36 and red will be 5 divided by 40 multiplied by 360 gives us 45 we should have been able to work that one out anyway if 10 people gives us 90 degrees 5 people will give us 45 degrees 4 people gives us 36 degrees that means 8 people will give us 70 2 degrees. Let's just double check that, make sure that we're doing everything correctly. 8 divided by 40 and multiply our answer by 360, 72 degrees, spot on. And then finally 7 divided by 40, 7 divided by 40 and multiply that by 360 degrees gives us 63. 63 degrees now to make sure that we've done it correctly what we can do is add up all of these degrees and we should get 360 let's check 4 and 6 is 10 15 16 17 20 put down a 0 carry 2 2 and 5 is 7 16 19 23 30 360 perfect so we've done that correctly next thing we got to do is get out our protractor um, we're going to start drawing in our segments. So, we're going to start off, we need an angle of 54 degrees. So, turn your protractor so that you're measuring from zero, which is right up here in this case. And I need an angle of 54 degrees. So, following around from zero, 54 degrees is going to be around about there. So, we can move away the protractor now take your ruler I'm just going to use a straight line tool and draw an angle well that will be 54 degrees there so that's 54 degrees important to label it 54 degrees and that is for blue next we need an angle of 90 degrees so take your protractor remember to continue from where you last where so the last line is here so i got to measure from here going all the way around to 90 degrees which you can see is right here so that's 90 degrees there little mark with the protractor take out your ruler and a straight line of 90 degrees would go to there i'll just tidy that up 90 degrees goes to there so taking it back and that is for yellow so yellow is 90 degrees green 36 degrees take your protractor 
put it in the center of your pie chart move it around so that we're measuring from zero as always measuring from zero we need 36 degrees so I'm gonna go to 36 which is right there make a little mark and draw in your line again labeling appropriately 36 degrees and that is green moving swiftly on we need an angle of 45 degrees so again turn your protractor around so that you're measuring from zero and we need an angle of 45 degrees I've been using the outside so I'm going to continue using that 45 degrees is here little mark with the protractor get your ruler and you need a segment that size or a, or a sector should I say so that's red red is 45 degrees second from last one 72 degrees take the protractor move it around so we want it lined up on the most recent line we had which is right here and we need an angle of 72 degrees so 72 degrees is right about there so a little mark take away the protractor you'll use a ruler for this bit obviously and it needs to be about that size marking the angle 72 degrees and purple labeling appropriately final one 63 degrees let's just check we're right this should be 63 degrees or there or thereabouts you will be given a little bit of leeway in the exam of course but let's just check it should be around about 63 degrees well there's 60 degrees there yeah around about 63 degrees so that's absolutely spot on I'll take that so 63 degrees and other and that is how you draw a pie chart so remember frequency for each um, for each slice is going to be uh, or sorry the size of each slice is going to be the frequency divided by the total frequency and you're going to multiply that by 360 degrees that tells you how big it's going to be and then just use your protractor to construct the pie chart um, there's a question for you to try now if you want you can pause the video and then try and draw the information here on a pie chart okay hopefully you've had a go with that um, this is what we came up with in the end I could turn that around if maybe you did it like so your your angle should be more or less the same as what I have here and one more example for you to try so again you can pause the video here have a go at drawing that this pie chart okay hopefully you've had a go of that and here is the answer okay fantastic that's all from me i uh, hope you enjoyed the video hopefully you found it useful and i will talk to you again sometime take it easy